The Gingerbread Boy by Paul Golden. Once upon a time there lived a little old woman and a little old man. They had no boys or girls of their own, so they lived all by themselves in a little old house. One day the little old woman was baking gingerbread. I will make a little gingerbread boy, she said. So she rolled the dough out flat and cut it into shapes of a little boy. She made him two good-sized feet. Then she gave him eyes and a mouth of raisins and currant, and stuck a cinnamon drop for a nose. She put a row of raisins down in front of his jacket for buttons. There, she said, now you'll have a little gingerbread boy of your own. She put him in a pan and popped him into the oven and closed the door. Then she went back to work, sweeping, cleaning, and cleaning and sweeping, and forgot all about the little gingerbread boy. Meanwhile, he baked brown all over and got very hot. Oh, my, said the little old woman at last, sniffing the air. The gingerbread boy is burning. She ran to the oven and opened the door, and up jumped the gingerbread boy. He hopped down onto the floor, and ran across the kitchen, out the door, across the garden, through the gate, and down the road as fast as his gingerbread legs could carry him. The little old woman and the little old man ran after him, shouting, Stop, stop, little gingerbread boy! The gingerbread boy looked back and laughed and called out, Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I am, I am. And they couldn't catch him. So the gingerbread boy ran on and on, and soon he came to a cow. Hmm, hmm, sniffed the cow. You smell good. Stop, little gingerbread boy, I would like to eat you. But the little gingerbread boy laughed and said, I've ran away from the little old woman. I've ran away from the little old man. I can run away from you. I can, I can. So the cow ran after him, but she couldn't catch him. The little gingerbread boy ran on and on, and soon he came to a horse. Please stop, little gingerbread boy, said the horse. You look very good to eat. But the gingerbread boy called out, I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from the cow. I can run away from you. I can. So the horse ran after him. But he couldn't catch him. By and by, the little gingerbread boy came to a barn where some men were threshing wheat. The threshers saw the little gingerbread boy and called, Don't run so fast, little gingerbread boy. Little gingerbread boys are made to eat. But the little gingerbread boy ran faster and faster and shouted, I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from the cow. I ran away from the horse. I can run away from you. I can, I can. So the thrashers ran after him, but they couldn't catch him. The gingerbread boy ran as fast as ever. Soon he came to a field of mowers. When the mowers saw how fine he looked, they called out, Wait a bit, wait a bit, little gingerbread boy. Gingerbread boys are made to eat. But the gingerbread boy laughed harder than ever, and ran on like the wind. Oh, 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 he cried. I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from a cow. I ran away from a horse. I ran away from a barn full of thrashers. I can run away from you. I can, I can. So the mowers ran after him, but they couldn't catch him. By and by, the little gingerbread boy was very proud of himself. He strutted and danced and pranced. He thought no one on earth could catch him. Then he saw a fox coming across the field. The fox looked at him and began to run. But the little gingerbread boy ran faster still, shouting, Run, run, run! Catch me if you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I am, I am. I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from the cow. I ran away from the horse. 
I ran away from a barn full of thrashers. I ran away from a field full of mowers. I can run away from you. I can, I can. Why? said the fox politely. I wouldn't catch you if I could. Just then the little gingerbread boy came to a wide river. He dared not to jump in the river, for he would crumble into pieces if he did. He looked behind him. The cow, the horse, and all the people were still following and getting closer. He had to cross the river, or they would catch him. The fox saw this and said, Jump on my tail, and I will take you across. So the gingerbread boy jumped on to the fox's tail, and the fox jumped into the river. When they were out in the river, the fox said, Little gingerbread boy, I think you had better get on my back, or you may fall off. So the gingerbread boy jumped on the fox's back. After swimming a little farther, the fox said, The water is deep. You may get wet where you are. Jump on my shoulders. So the little gingerbread boy jumped on the fox's shoulders. When they were near the other side of the river, the fox cried out suddenly, The water's growing deeper still. Jump up on my nose. Jump up on my nose. So the little gingerbread boy jumped on the fox's nose. The fox sprang ashore and threw back his head. Snip, half of the gingerbread boy was gone. Snip, snap, he was three quarters gone. Snip, snap, snip, at last, at last, he went the way of every single gingerbread boy that ever came out of the oven. He was swallowed gone. So the little old woman and the little old man and the cow and the horse and the thrashers and the mowers all went home again. As the fox had a good long nap.